I think I finally may have found the perfect rain cover for my Sony 200 to 600 millimeter wildlife lens. If you're into wildlife photography, you probably also like being outside. Those two seem to go hand in hand and are kind of mandatory. And what you've probably encountered is that the weather is not always going to be bright and sunny and dry. So me, I live on Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada. It's a rainforest. It is very wet for a lot of the year. So I wanted to be able to shoot all the time and that got me looking for a solution to be able to do so. And I think I found some cool options that I can share with you. I went all the way from free to spending like just over a hundred bucks, I think on this one. And I'll describe the pros and cons of each of those so you can figure out what might be a good fit for you and, and what ideas I had that were kind of stupid as well. <laughs> so let's get into it. First off, I'm going to take this thing off for now. Also, thanks for watching this. It's been cool having people liking these videos. Happy to be making them. First thing I tried to weatherproof this lens was a garbage bag. We haven't been having the best luck with the weather, so I used a garbage bag and covered up the lens, as you can see there, the camera I can get in at. It's working. <laughs> uh, real simple. You grab a big garbage bag, tear a hole in it, a little small. You fit it over right where the lens cap would go and then you put it back on to kind of cinch it in place so it's pinched in here and then just drag it back over your camera and then i used a bongo tie or an elastic band or something to just like give it another squeeze right around here and that was my first day shooting. It was ridiculous. It looked so stupid. It looked like I was carrying around a like gun in a garbage bag or something. But it was also effective and it also cost me no money because I already had garbage bags and you probably do too. So in a pinch, that is the solution. Is that going to be something that gets you very close to animals? Probably not. They are probably terrified of me with a giant garbage bag in my hands, but it's a solution. Um, up next, I went for the Peak Design rain cover. There we go. So this is what it covers. I tried all of the sizes they have available. And as you can see in the footage that's on the screen now, it wasn't big enough. It only came to about here. It was cool. I liked the fabric a lot. It felt nice, but it was also too tight on the camera. You couldn't really get your hands in to operate the camera at the same time. And it just didn't cover enough of the camera. I tried the smaller sizes for my other lenses as well. And I might end up picking one up for like my Tamron 28 to 75 lens, because that's my usual running gun when I'm not doing wildlife photography. But it wasn't a fit for wildlife. Of course, feel free to try it out, but I don't think it's gonna be what you want, honestly. Now, I knew I didn't want the garbage bag solution and the Peak Design cover just wasn't gonna cut it. So I decided I'd go a little bit deeper and look at more forums and get more advice from other wildlife photographers on what they're using. And a couple YouTube videos and many hours later <laughs> and forums later, I found uh, the solution. So let me show you that. This right here is the Lens Coat Rain Cover. Uh, it's pretty slick. It's camo, which is nice for wildlife photography, of course. The material feels nice. It's a good design, and I'll get into the perks and how it is designed and advantages that this design offers you. But yeah, it is by Lens Coat. Uh, the link in the description, of course, if you want to check it out right away. But let me show you why this is the rain cover for you. Right away, you can kind of tell that it's like designed by probably somebody with hunting experience. It's just kind of got that feel like it's like practical, <laughs> practical utilitarian design, not as like sleek and sexy as the Peak Design cover, but way more usable. Uh, like it's, it's gonna give you all the functionality where you lost that with the Peak Design. Because another problem with the Peak Design cover was if you wanted to get at the controls on your lens, not going to happen. It just wasn't possible where with this, you could make it happen. So let's put it on the camera. Uh, let's start there. I'm just going to loosen everything off. So we're starting fresh. There it is. If you want to get a better look, uh-huh. 
We've got two holes and then little Velcro straps as well. We've got it fully loosened off. I don't really know if there's like a big or a small end, but I've just kind of got it set up in a way that's working for me already. So it's gonna slide it right through like so. Sorry if that's loud in the mic. And then you get it right around the edge there, as close as you want using this, tighten it into place. It's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to show a camera, honestly. <laughs> so if it looks like I'm fiddling around and it's a hassle, it's because I'm trying to make it so you can see it. <laughs> All right, so that's on there, looking pretty good. Now we're just gonna tighten this. You don't actually have to tighten it, I just like it being snug, makes me happy. And you've got another one you can do down here, but here's a really cool feature that other ring covers that I looked at didn't have, is the bottom of this whole ring cover is like this Velcro strip. So you can open that up, let's do so right now. Voila, now I can slide that foot out and get around that. I like to keep the foot on because I just, sometimes hold it by that, or I like to just be able to slap it on a monopod or whatever without going to look for that. So for me, I don't mind the extra weight of it. I just keep it on. If you take it off, then you wouldn't have to worry about this, but just know that you can do that. It's actually a feature I didn't even realize was there for like my first week with this thing. Um, I thought that there was no way of getting in there and I had a couple complaints about this rain cover and I shot a video for it and then I deleted it because I realized that I'm an idiot and there's ways around all of the problems I had with this because of this whole strip here. So onward, we can do our second Velcro strap here. It is now kind of snug all around and we've got this big loose part back here. And I would show you it on the camera, but I'm using my camera to film this video. So you're just gonna have to imagine that part. This is more than enough to cover my, ca my camera. You can keep it dry. You can also snug that up to cinch around the camera if you're in a really wet situation but it's also loose enough that you're gonna have enough space to get your hands in and actually control your camera, which the Peak Design just didn't really allow for that. It's also really easy just to pull it off the camera if you just like wanna have it totally out of the way. That's no problem at all. It was sunny here yesterday and I just left it on because I really don't find that it's that annoying having this on the lens like full time. I'm just gonna keep it on there, I think. It gives me camo and it's not really hindering my use of the lens. It's also loose enough that you can get at your lens controls there. So that's no problem either, which is really nice. So if you're using those, they're available. And these little Peak Design anchor clips I use, let's get that visible for you. I can have my strap come right out of there and hold this lens. One more thing that I don't think I could do with the Peak Design cover. So I'll show you that real quick. All right, there we go lens at the ready. Normally I've got my camera body on there. I think that the, the lens is too heavy to put the strap on the camera and have the lens torque in on the camera joint. So I put the strap on the lens and I think that's best practice. It seems to work for me, but it's really great just being able to like have hands free when I need. If I want to go searching for another lens or an ND filter or just hold a coffee while I'm walking to a place. This is essential. So having a rain cover that could let me use this strap system was kind of mandatory in my hunt for the perfect rain cover. Now, one more problem to solve was having a rain cover that I could still control my zoom or my focus if I wanted to do manual focus. And this rain cover does that. So what you can do is just again, open up this bottom Velcro sleeve here and get at really any control you want. Depending how much access you want, you might have to loosen one of these Velcro ties but really you can just open it up and get a hand in there, like so. If you find that you're zooming a lot, I would pull the, just open up the front one probably, get a full hand in there, and then it works like a charm. I am almost always at 600 mil, so I actually just leave it closed and leave this tightened up and just, you can, you can still get away with managing the controls over the lens, it's just, you can see it kind of pulls. But if I was zooming more, I would open that up and have no problem. And I think where this really shines is for users that are on a tripod, where they're like able to just kind of let the camera sit. You can just have it sitting kind of at a, its orientation that you know you're gonna be in. Say you're in a blind or something, or I guess if you're in a blind, you'd be undercover, but you're just stationary. Then you can open up both of these, tear open the bottom, something like so. 
It's going to be on a tripod and you're just waiting and you can just snake a hand in there and access either of those controls while your other hand's on the camera, no problem. And the rain's still gonna just roll right off the edges there. So you don't need it sealed unless you're in a hurricane or something. <laughs> but for walking around, it's nice having it tight, I find. But you definitely don't need it to be. You could just leave this fully open if that's your style. If manual focus is super important for you, that's gonna be the solution. For me, it hasn't been a big deal, but I think that there's a way to get any shooting style to work with this rain cover. Uh, which is pretty impressive, I gotta say. As far as noise goes, I do wish it was a little bit quieter. It, it probably sounds worse than it is through the mic right now because of the like compression and processing I do for my dialogue. But uh, it's a little noisy, but not more than like the down vest I like to walk around in and jacket I wear and stuff. So really it's not a big deal. It's just something to note, I think. Now, the only other product that I have interest in as far as accessories for this lens go is the neoprene sleeve covers that go over kind of each section of the lens. You've probably seen those in photos. If you're interested in the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens, chances are you've seen a picture of those uh, on, on the lens somewhere before. I'll try and put one on the screen for you. And I was looking at those and people seem to recommend them, but I was like, these people must not live in Canada because they don't look like they offer much rain protection at all because they they only go on like the individual sections and kind of leave the the joints unprotected where I wouldn't want the water to get. So I don't really understand how they actually offer any rain protection. If I'm missing something and you use those, please comment down below so I understand what that's for. But where I can see that being cool is that they offer some camouflage without this big bulky and noisy cover on. So for summer shooting, that's probably a nice way to get camouflage on your lens. They also are obviously gonna protect against like scratches and bumps and stuff like that. And they look super cool. Like I do want them. I just don't really understand their purpose compared to something like this just yet. Again, if you know what those are for and they are actually serving a real purpose, please let me know. But otherwise, if you're looking for heavy duty rain protection, for your camera and lens, this is totally the way to go. What I'm gonna experiment with up next is if I can put this on my camera with a smaller lens and then just use these cinches to make it smaller. So I don't have to buy multiple uh, rain protectors. I can just use this one kind of for everything. That would be ideal. I think it's gonna work. It might not be pretty. It might look, again, kind of like a garbage bag, but it'll be a camouflage garbage bag. So who can see me anyways? <laughs> okay. I hope this was helpful for you uh, in finding a solution to get you out shooting in the rain. It's a good time to be out there. It looks a little different. It's dark, but it's fun. You'll be happy once you're out. And again, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Uh, this channel's growing real quick. I'm loving it. I'm having fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy some photos on the way out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.